Dude, that was impressive, man. Oh. Are you all right? Oh, you got him. He's gonna bring him up, guys. You need us to grab the, the thing, dude. I'm ready for you, dude. No, you put it back. And you thought dragons were only in fairy tales. Pretty sure they exist in real life, too. And they're usually just as mean. Just found this guy in southern Florida. And for those of you who don't know, of the dragons in southern Florida, they are the American alligator. Alligator Mississippiensis. American classic right here. And I wanna appreciate some things on this individual animal that I'm pretty excited about. One being, look at these jowls. Look at these big, meaty, just beefy, fat boy jowls. When you have a big handful of jowl in your hand on the neck of a gator, you can pretty much tell yourself that you caught a big gator because that means it's a big boy. And then while we're at it, let's take a good look at these teeth. I know, he's blowing smoke at me. He's huffing and puffing. Look at those big thick teeth. This guy's gonna take off anything he wants, man. Anything that fits in this mouth, it's coming with him. So make sure that's not a part of you. Believe it or not, it grows up to be the biggest in the world. That's right. They have a snake on record that was over 30 feet long and 400 pounds plus. Pretty, pretty nutty. This guy is just a little baby. He's maybe really only a year or two old. Just a young little guy. He was sitting on the creek bed and actually he was on some branches just into the water and he was probably hoping for a a little food item to pass by, maybe soak up some sun, do a little bit of thermoregulating. And unfortunately for him, I stumbled by and interrupted his day just a little bit, but it was well worth it, because look at this beauty. So I couldn't help myself. I had to pick him up just for a second, get a feel for what he's all about. And he's a strong animal. That big, thick body, big neck, big legs. And he wants to bite my face off. And I just want to hang out just for a minute talk about him and uh, really see what he's all about. So again, this is Asiatic water monitor, and believe it or not, they get bigger than this. This is, uh, you know, a good two meters, but they can push three meters. I mean, it's the second biggest lizard in the world, so it's a real beast of an animal, what we're talking about. And this guy's no exception. Certainly feisty at first. He seemed to calm down quick, which is nice to me. People have talked about him. Do you mind if I talk about him on video really quick? If I, if I grab him for a video really quick? For a video, for a picture? Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. And here we have just a little baby sea otter. And he's just the cutest little guy I've ever seen. And my man right here, Jim, <laughs> rescued him. Uh, he didn't have a mother in the wild, in the jungle here in Krabi. And he was all alone and Jim rescued him and he's been taking care of him and feeding him milk. and. Apparently he's been growing well and he seems pretty happy and healthy from a real general perspective. And so there's two main kind of elephants in the world. There's the African and then there's the Asiatic. I mean, one obvious way of knowing one versus the other is really where you are in the world. But say you're at a zoo or something and they happen to have both, there's a few distinguishing factors that you can really use to tell the difference between the two. I'd say the biggest and most obvious is that with the full-grown adults, the Asiatic elephants are not nearly as big. The African relatives of theirs are much, much bigger. Another thing is the ears. African elephants have these huge, massive ears, whereas Asiatic elephants really don't get much bigger than this. They just come across the neck and they're just kind of flappy and droopy down here. And they're kind of cuter in my opinion. I see African elephants are the big, monstrous ones and Asiatics are just the cute, cute little or smaller cousins, really. Another thing is if you look at their head, Come here, my pong. Hi, sweetie. 
Can you see two big bumps up here? They have two bumps, whereas the Africans just have one big bump or a ridge, if you will. And so that's another distinguishing factor. And then some other cool things with their trunk. Can I borrow this, Mapon? Maybe, maybe not. It's not going to force it, sweetie. But their trunk right here, you see that little finger like projection? Right on top. It's kind of a triangle. It's like a little finger. Let's get this a little better. See that little finger right there? Oh, she doesn't want to give me it. Right there. That little finger like projection. Asiatic elephants, they only have one. And so they're doing a lot of curling and scooping when they're trying to get their food or when they're grazing in the pasture. Whereas the African elephants, they actually almost have like a clasper because they have two points. They have it on the top and the bottom. And so they can clasp things they want to bring it to their mouth. So it's a slight, slight difference there.